to my YouTube channel and this is another update from Steve coming through for the Commodore 64. Um, it's been probably a good week or so since I've had my last video out. I usually try to do once a week now, I'm not trying to be so aggressive as I used to be. And the one thing I've been focusing on lately, I know I'm promising people an ebook and that's still underway, but to make this more how can I say this? To make the, the ebook more viable to people based on the feedback I've been getting, I'm actually taking all the listings and everything I've ever created on this, as I've explained in another video, and putting them on a website, my website right now, to where I can see and have access to every listing I need. So when I start preparing this ebook in more depth, I'll be able to start stretching out the parts of explaining, like I said, the redefining character sets. Um, some of the graphic abilities of the Commodore 64 and just learn from some of the examples that's being taken here so I wanted to kind of show you some of the things I've been up to I've showed this before but this is the the website the, the you might as well say the addition of what I've already been creating of course this is just my regular website which I'm thinking about redesigning this entire thing because um, I'm not even into ASP.NET anymore but that was um, for a project I built to get a job at one time. So hopefully eventually when it time comes around I'd like to be able to revamp this up for just Commodore 64 or just you know, 8-bit computer systems. Uh, but for now, I'm just um, laying out these. Uh, what basically it started was uh, screenshots. I was taking screenshots of some of the code and some of the, um, the pictures and all the, the software that I have typed in over the years from about 10 years on the comic or something like that on the comic 64 and a lot of this is um, other people's work too as well so I don't claim rights to anything but at the same time there's a lot to learn from here and I've never seen anyone do it I've always seen people like have Commodore 64 websites where you can download the listings and you might see maybe a PDF with a book listing in it but I've never seen anybody actually take pictures of the screenshots so I thought it was kind of an original idea that I, I tapped on and I really attach to it and the reason why I'm sticking to this now is I've said before I'm really trying to stick out a task now or a project when I start working on something I want to stay consistent with that alone so I know the ebook is still underway and I'm still staying in path with that but this opened up the ideal of putting these listings on a website where I can eventually expand this ebook and give you more value for your money instead of just creating something that's well, basically is a half job. You know, I've been accused of doing half jobs and I don't want to be like that anymore. I really want um, to give you the, well, you know, I just want to give you the knowledge and the things I've learned and the things that I've, I've seen people develop over the years, you know, and just learn from that, you know, and just hope you guys can step inside their minds and learn from them as I've learned from them and we can move on from there, you know. I mean, this uh, website alone, I've already got most of the listings reproduced. And I wanted to kind of even show you, some of the people might be curious of how this is actually being done. It's actually a little bit easier than you think it is, but... Um, one of the things you'll need to do, first of all, is you'll need to order this... Um, it's a special, I don't have a picture I can show you here, but it's a little device you plug into the back of your Commodore 64, and it captures... I could probably show you here. It captures um, video from your Commodore 64 on a cable here. This is a cable lighting running from here to my computer and it runs all the way over to my TV. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Let me kind of redirect the camera here to show you what I've got going here with the Commodore 64 here. So I wanted to show this to you. I'm um, going to angle it down a little bit. So the Commodore 64 is plugged back here into the TV and uh, basically what I do is I have this little program here, it's called TV Center, and it captures the Commodore 64 on the screen here. Oops, I need to plug it back in here. Plugged it a little bit. Oh, it's right here actually. So it gives a more clear picture. I don't know why that's coming out of focus right now. I was working fine earlier. And let me turn it off here for a second. I think I pulled it out or something here. So. I feel like I should never have messed with it. <laughs> but anyways, it creates, there you go. It creates a perfect picture, perfect picture of the Commodore 64. As you can see, this is real time. I can type over here and everything. Oops. And I have 
you know, I don't have a listing in here because I obviously just restarted it, but anything, if I pull like a directory here, for example, I'll show it to you. So it's happening real time here on my Commodore 64. My three key gets stuck a lot, so you might notice it's missing. <laughs> I lost the, the key thing for it over a year ago. So here's the listing. You can see it's working real time. And then what you do is with this device here, TV Center, you press this button right here. I'll show you real time over here. This is where I've captured all my screenshots. And let me just, um, well, let me just capture this. I'll, I'll capture this directory listing to show you that it works here. You press this button here, it says take a snapshot. And when you look over here, you'll see it reproduces it on your computer. And you can just save it here. And I use this, um, I don't know what this device is with Microsoft, this, um, this, this, this picture display or whatever. I use this to kind of expand the listings. And then I just basically use a snipping tool down here. And I just copy them here like this. And I copied a, a screenshot there. And then you basically just save it on your computer. And then and that's basically how I created it to the website. And then the tools, of course, I'm using, I've showed this before, but I use this um, Herbisoft. I think it's called Herbisoft or something. Herbisoft. It's an old um, text editor or an HTML editor. And then I basically just um, upload that, you know, through um, FileZilla. And FileZilla is where I keep all my, um, this is everything from my server, from my website here. And these are all like the images and everything, just all the files that's storing my website. So I just thought I would show that to you guys here. Um, bring the camera back over here. So yeah, that's um, basically what I've been up to and everything I wanted to kind of show you guys. Um, that's what the whole point of this is. Like I said, to reproduce the listings and everything and to capture the screenshots so I can, um, you can see that right here that basically this is the, the web page itself to reproduce them to the internet right here, which is the C64 basic page. And then you'll get access to the full listings. Now, to kind of explain this also, I'm not, I'm pretty much more than halfway done with it, but there's probably a good five, maybe four or five more discs I still have to add to this. I mean, this is only one page, and this has already got like 200 listings alone. And then I created this separate link here. If you click here, it says page two. It'll open up another page here, it takes a second. And these are the rest of the listings I have yet to convert using the TV Pro. Now what I was originally doing, for those who may or may not caught this, if you look down here, you'll see a picture of the Dynex. I was using basically my mobile camera to, to take pictures of the television screen. So I would be up here like this taking pictures of it. And then I had to kind of, of course, orient the camera a lot and stuff like that. So it took a lot of time until I, I figured out that I could do everything using this uh, TV Pro. And this thing is amazing. I mean, TV Pro, TV Center. You look for it on the internet. It's just incredible. You can even watch live television, which is the whole point of it all here. I'll show it to you. Okay, so now we're looking at Home Shopping Network, you know, and you can kind of just go through this thing, and you can see real TV. It's basically, you can get a DTV and everything. But of course, I have mine focused to a channel here, which outputs just for the display for the Commodore 64. So it's pretty cool. So. And I've showed the other videos too, where if you want to capture the TV device, you need to plug this little device here. I'll unplug it for a second, it's a little bit loud here, but... Noisy. <laughs> okay, so it's right here. Basically, this is right here. You can see this little plug plugs right into the back of the Commodore 64 there. And then the other side here is going inside of um, an extension I have here. So this is basically plugs into there and this plugs into the back of the Commodore 64. So that's how you get the output to the listing for the screen and everything. So, so I would show you guys that. I have one of my friends that I shouldn't show it. He thinks I'm giving too much away, but you guys probably already know I'm, I'm a giver anyway. So maybe one day it'll pay off and I'll get um, a YouTube membership or something, you know. It'd be nice to, to become one of those YouTube um, partners. But I'm not there yet. I don't have enough people. But we'll see. Time can change things. And I'd, I'd like to maybe start contests down the road, but I'm not going to go out of 
range here because I don't want to say things I haven't yet done. So I just wanted to show you what I was working on. And you can go ahead and check them out. Now, I didn't explain this a lot here, but if you look here, these are actually, like I said, these are screenshots. So let me go back to the other thing here. Let me go back a page here. These are actually complete listings here. So it's page by page. I just took pictures. And all I'm doing, for those who want to know again, is um, I'm basically taking the listings here and I'm capturing them page by page. So basically doing something like lists. Um, let me let me load an example to show you real quick here. I know my audio is going to die here in a second, so I'm going to watch that timing. So, as an example, what am I up to right now? Well, let's see where I'm about that here. I'm up to. I've already finished this one, Billiard Practice. So this one right here, I'll have to do this one next. Sci-Fi Stories. 